There are four variants of the Raspberry Pi Pico. The Pico, the Pico H, the Pico W, and the Pico WH. And at first it may seem a little confusing, but the naming convention is actually really straightforward. Let's start with the regular Pico. It's just called the Pico. It's the one that was first released, and it's kind of like the base model of all the Picos. It's got everything you'll need on board, and it's the minimum that you'll need to get started with this course. The next variant is the Pico W. It comes with this big silvered wireless chip here, which gives it Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities, something that the regular Pico does not have. It does have some very minor and nerdy technical differences, but apart from that added wireless chip, it is functionally the same as the regular Pico. In most projects, you can take out a normal Pico, put in a Pico W, and it's going to work just the same. There is a chapter in this course dedicated to learning about the wireless capabilities of the Pico, and you will only be able to use the Pico W for that. But apart from that, every other thing in this course can be done with a regular Pico. There are also the H versions of these two. The Pico H, which is the H version of the normal Pico, and the Pico WH, which is the H version of the Pico W. These two are exactly the same as these two, but they come with these pins already pre-soldered onto the board, and obviously these ones don't have that. And you will need these pins, as they are what we will be using to connect things to our Pico with. So if you're not confident in soldering your own pins onto the Pico, or you just want to get started right away, grab a Pico H or a Pico WH.